Hey guys, what's going on? Luis here again. And I just wanted to make this quick video today to talk a little bit more about high performance and more specifically coaches. Um, I'll give you a little bit of background on how I kind of got involved in this, not as myself doing it, but as actually having a high performance coach and whether or not it's a good investment, if perhaps it's something you should be looking at and really some of the benefits that I've seen after um, I actually don't know exactly the time that I've been working with my coach, but it's been some months now and there's definitely been a huge change as far as, you know, how I think, how I see things, how I carry myself, uh, the relationships, my work, um, you know, my, my gym routine, the habits that I have and, and, and new habits that I try to take on and new challenges and, and just, you know, the, the worldview, uh, I guess, essentially. Um, so the way I got kind of involved in this and the way that I found out about, you know, high performance coaching, I think um, there's a lot of this going on. If you get kind of plugged into the right, you know, places, you start to notice it a lot over time and a lot of the high performance coaches that i've seen have been you know in facebook groups after you know kind of going down the path of entrepreneurship you start to see them and they kind of pop up everywhere and at the end of the day there's a lot of people that want to be high performance coaches um, because they think that they're high performance high performers and they feel like they can teach people more about it and stuff like that but i think it takes a lot more than that to really you know, become a high performance coach um, in, in the grand scheme of things. Anybody could be one. If I wanted to, you know, I could say, hey, I want to be a high performance coach and take a couple of people under me and just teach them what I do, why I do it, um, teach them to push themselves and stuff like that. And I think there's some issues with that because it's hard to really be a high performance coach. It's hard to have that mindset, I think. Um, and so it, it's not really something that I want to become or something that I aspire to be, but I really look up to the people that are good at it and are actually able to push people to that next level. Um, and so I found myself, you know, seeing all these high performance coaches and on Facebook groups and stuff like that, you get pitched literally every day. Somebody would tell you about, you know, high performance and this and that and how they can help you out and how they can help you grow your business or become more uh athletic or whatever the case may be i never really bought into it um mainly because i just didn't see them as you know i guess credible enough um and a lot of these people are very very young which is also kind of you know a red flag i'm not saying it should be and if you are one of these people it's not meant to kind of put you down or anything like that by any means it's just my experience and my perception of things. Um, and I understand, you know, there's people that are young and they've been through a lot and they really are high performance and they push themselves. So if that's you, props to you. And, and you know, I, I hope you're helping a lot of people. Um, so my experience with it, I, I obviously read a lot um, and I've read a lot of self-help books. And one of the books that kind of opened my eyes to more things was uh, The Motivation Manifesto by Brendan Burchard. And I started reading this and I realized there were a lot of things with my thinking and how I viewed things and what I thought of, you know, motivation, how it could be achieved and stuff like that. Um, the book, if I remember correctly, I read it quite some months ago, um, but it talks about essentially, you know, the, the main idea is that motivation doesn't come from external things. It's actually internal and you build it and you nurture it and you create it, but it's not always going to be there. So what does that mean? It means that to really be a high performer, you know, you have to find that motivation within you. And there's going to be days where there's not motivation. You're not going to be able to find it. You're not going to be able to use it to, to, you know, leverage it to work harder or push yourself or whatever the case may be. But the thing is, you have to be able to do the things that you want to do to build what you want to build without that motivation because it's not always going to be there and if people only worked when they were motivated literally nothing would be built um in this world so that was how how i found out about brent Burchard, right so i read his book i thought it was great if you want to read it um please go ahead and do so 
And so that was where I kind of got plugged into, I guess you could say Brendan's uh, funnel, right? So after that, I listened to his audiobook, uh, which is also a physical book called High Performance Habits. And so I read that book, I listened to it. And there's obviously, there's a lot of things that, for example, I already know, people already know, um, you know, the things that are good, the things that are bad, quote unquote, um, things you should be doing, things that you shouldn't be doing, what's going to help you get to that next level, especially if you've already been kind of like in this space practicing, um, you know, high performance habits, whatever that is to you. Essentially, I got into his funnel. Um, I hopped on a phone call with him, I think after joining his newsletter or something like that. Um, and I started talking with one of his uh, high, high performance coaches. And I, you know, knowing in reality that I was going to be sold something. Um, and I went with it because I knew that it was time to invest in myself. I knew that it was time to take things to the next level. I knew that it was time to get somebody else involved that was able to push me further because I felt stagnant. And that was kind of the biggest clue to me that I needed to get somebody else involved, somebody that would hold me accountable, somebody that would be there every week, you know, looking at what I was doing, the things that I was trying to accomplish, how I was going about, you know, trying to accomplish them. Um, so I helped it a lot. Uh, one of the things about this program specifically was that it had a curriculum. So we talked about a lot of different things, not just, you know, work. So it's very uh, holistic in the sense that it encompasses, you know, everything in life. Um, so obviously entrepreneurship and work, um, fitness and energy levels, um, family relationships, contribution, uh, just being connected with more people and, and really being connected with yourself, which is one of the most important things. I think um, I'm very self-aware and that's one of the things I realized, but I also realized a lot of things that I wasn't really good at. Um, I, I, I was able to dive really deep with my coach on things that I wasn't comfortable being vulnerable about. Um, and, and she was really good at just, you know, diving deep and, and getting these things out of me. And what I really enjoyed most is that she was able to listen and, and, really, really listen well um, to the point where I felt super, super comfortable just opening up about literally everything and telling her, you know, what was bothering me, um, where I felt like I needed the most help and day in and day out or week in and week out, she would, you know, check in on those things and, and she would bring them up, talk about them if they got done. Um, or if I worked on them, and if not, why? Why? What was holding me back? What was I afraid of? Um, where was that missing piece that needed to to get that extra push? Um, and just unveiling a lot of different things that you know I thought I was really good at. You know, I came in really, really hot, thinking that oh, I'm this entrepreneur and I'm doing all these things right and and this and that. When in reality, that's just the ego trying to protect itself. Um, so. I just came in not really, you know, wanting to open up and, and trying to put this really big picture of who I am or who I want to be perceived as um, and kind of just taking that down piece by piece to the core and really figuring out, you know, this is what needs to work. This is how you should work at it. Um, this is the things that you are really good at. These are the things that you're excelling at. And this is how you can take those even further but also where is that, you know, weakness that you kind of hide because you're afraid of, you know, kind of letting it out. Um, so I think high performance coaches are a very, very good investment. I think you definitely have to find the right one, talk to multiple of them if you can, and, and just see where you're at. Um, it is quite a bit of an investment, um, obviously, depending on where you are as far as financials go you know, this may not be for you at the moment. Um, but I think it's definitely something that a lot of people, especially if you want to grow, if you want to see yourself succeed, if you want to get to that next level, should invest in. Um, and at the same time, you know, you're investing in yourself, you're going to be learning a lot, you're going to be just figuring out, you know, more about yourself that is going to help you get to that next level. And, and, and I was very focused on, you know, business and building my agency and my other business. Um, 
And so we worked on that a lot. On, and, and, you know, there's a lot of things that go on and, and a lot of the, the things that aren't getting built out or aren't progressing are because of myself and the, just where I kind of feel too comfortable and too, you know, okay with whatever it is. So bringing those into the table and being able to say, okay, this is what's currently being done. Um, these are the things that need to be worked on. It's, it's really good. Um, you just have this bigger picture and you have somebody helping you throughout the entire process and kind of showing you, you know, this is what you should do. And, and to be honest, I think one of the biggest benefits of it is just having that individual that you can talk to and it's a friend, but it's not really a friend. Like if they see that, you know, you're kind of taking the easy route or you're procrastinating for whatever reason, they'll call you out on it, or at least mine did, which I, I really appreciated. Um, but at the same time, you feel very comfortable because at the end of the day, you know that they're trying to help you um, get to where you want to be. So if you, for whatever reason, you know, are kind of on the edge on whether you should be investing in a high performance coach, um, I think you should. Um, I think if you are thinking, if like, if that's in the back of your head, in the back of your head, it's because that is something that you already have kind of um, made up your mind about, right? So you'll start thinking about these things and, and by the time, for example, if it is some sort of sales call that you need to go on, like nobody's gonna coach you for free, um, you know? So I think if you find yourself even booking that call with a coach, um, it's probably because you know you need, you need that. Um, and, and that was kind of where I was at. And, and I've been, you know, at the end of, so it, it, the way that mine worked, it kind of went by, um, different curriculum. So right now I'm on the second one and or third, I forgot exactly, but I went on the first one and, you know, I, I, I ended up buying, um, the program. And so I went through it and I was like, okay, by the end of this one, I'm going to be ready to go. Um, and I'm not going to need a coach anymore. Right. And, the mind kind of working itself again and, and just looking at it kind of as a um, scarcity mindset going back to that. And, and, and when I did that, I realized, okay, that the fact that I'm doing this means that there's still some work that needs to be done. Um, so when I went on the second call to go on a second curriculum, I realized that I still needed it. And you'll find that out when, when, you know, they essentially ask you for a payment. <laughs> um, but I think it's a good investment. I've enjoyed it a lot. Um, and to be honest, if somebody who has told me, you know, this is the things that you're going to learn about yourself. This is the thing that you're going to learn about others. And this is the, essentially the tools that are you're going to be end up having by the end of, you know, your coaching, um, to grow your business, to grow yourself, to just be in a whole better state and just be completely happy. Um, you know, about multiple things, not just business, but family relationships, um, you know, mentality, spirituality, uh, I would have done it a lot earlier. So if you're on the edge about it, if you're thinking about it, it's definitely something you can look, you should look into, um, because you'll find out that it's, that it's pretty good for you. Um, so check, check some stuff out. Like I said, I, I decided to go with Brandon Burchard's. Um, it is a little pricey, I would say. Um, but it's definitely worth the investment. So if you don't know who he is, definitely check him out. Check out his books. Um, yeah, that's kind of it. So thanks for watching. And if you like the video, if you like the content, make sure you subscribe, turn on the notifications and all that good stuff. Um, if you're new here, you probably are because this is the first video. Um, make sure to let me know what you think. And I just want to, you know, share some valuable stuff with you guys the reason one of the reasons why i actually started this youtube channel was because of my high performance coach um so this is one of the ways that i can contribute to people is by by kind of you know sharing my experiences with anybody that might find it valuable um so i think there's a lot to be gained by getting into you know some sort of high performance coaching curriculum or program or whatever you want to call it you're going to learn a lot about yourself so that's it. Thanks for watching.